think that the at, at the national level, uh, maybe that sentiment is exists, but at the local level, they have their local issues, and I think, uh, yeah, maybe people in the urban area are having that sentiment. You go to Lembakelang, you go to, yeah, they have that sentiment. But you come to uh, other places, especially in Johor, they have their own issues. Although on Amno side, they keep playing with that. But again, uh, yes, there are certain portion of the voters, there are certain portion of the people might feel disappointed. But in general, they feel disappointed more with the ruling of BN and the, the misconduct of BN and the failure of both BN and BN in handling the COVID issue and in handling the economy. If you ask me now whether the disappointment is about uh, uh, the, the previous government of page or the disappointment about the current government, they have more and, 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 and bigger disappointment towards the current government. The shortage supply of chicken, even KFC is facing a big problem now. The shortage supply of uh, eggs and state government, the Johor state government, the previous, the one before the, the Zoo, they didn't do anything, unlike uh, the, the, the state government of Slango, for example. They interfere with that and they're giving subsidies. And the, excuse me, an unemployment issue, there's no serious intervention from the state during the MCO to overcome this problem. There's no serious uh, intervention. And number four, education. Amongst the effect of uh, pandemic and the, the MCOs, not only one MCO, MCOs, were the issue of lost learning and lost generation, in which a lot of students miss their class for nearly two years, and some of them at the earliest stage, they don't they didn't know how to read, write, and uh, count well. And Johor fallen into the second highest amount of students who doesn't know to, to write, uh, read, and count well. You can find it in Vita Harian, the, 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 the percentage. And the state government is doing nothing. We have no hope in the current Ministry of Education because they are as useless as any other ministries. But state of Johor, at least we hope that they can do something. So this is where, when we come into power, we come to Nusa Jaya, among the biggest priority that we put before our eyes is education. We want to fix this. We want to make sure Johor to become an educated nation, educated state, sorry, <laughs> and, and, and also a reading state. And the most important part, we want to save the lost generation. We want to make sure nobody will left out Nobody will be uh, will not be able to write, read, and uh, count at the Apani. and we will make sure that the access to education will be open to everybody, especially to those marginalized communities like Orang Asli and the OKU. We want to make sure Johor is the friendliest state to the OKU.